Now, today, we're going to be looking at what happens <coughs> when you cough. Now, a cough is a reflex action that your body does to get rid of something harmful or irritating which you breathed in by mistake, like icing sugar, for example. Icing sugar? Why would I breathe in icing sugar? We're in a lab, not a kitchen. And when I do bake, I always make savoury things, like, you know, the cheese twists with... <coughs> water! Now we're going to show you Chris coughing like you've never seen it before. Now this is a video of the inside of my head. This was taken using a magnetic resonance imaging machine, or MRI. Now, the main difference between a cough and simply breathing out hard is my favourite body part, your epiglottis. Its normal job is to stop food going into your lungs when you swallow, but in a cough, it closes off the lungs and allows pressure to build up in the lungs. Sand, do the first part of a cough. Now, Sand's closed his epiglottis, the pressure's rising in his chest, so when he opens it, <coughs> the air rushes out at 60 miles an hour. But if a cough's that powerful, where does it go? And what's in it? Well, we're going to show you. It's time for competitive <coughs> coughing. What is going on? Well, I've made these cutouts that look just like you and me. They don't look anything like me. They're all blue. I'm the green twit. Everything I wear is green. It's greenish. It's, it's, look, does that look the same? It's turquoise. It doesn't look anything alike. It's not relevant, Sand. The point is, I've put plates full of a special scientific gunk called agar jelly on the faces of our cutouts. So if any bacteria happen to land on any of our plates, they're going to multiply so much we can actually see them. OK, Chris, you ready? Three, two, one, cough! We're doing two experiments, one where the plates are 10 centimetres away and another where they're 50 centimetres away. <coughs> well, all done. Not quite, Chris. I want you to take this agar plate and hold it in front of your face, and I'm going to cough on it. And this time, I'm going to cover my mouth with my elbow the way you're supposed to, and hopefully no germs should land on the plate. OK, we'll just make sure you do it properly. <coughs> <coughs> and now, we have to wait. In lab conditions, bacteria take some time to grow. Luckily, we came prepared for a long wait. And finally, the test results are in. So let's check out the cutouts that were 50 centimetres away first. Oh, yuck! This has worked really well. All these bacteria have grown into thick, furry, yucky blooms. Ugh. Well, let's have a look at mine. Oh, they're even worse than Zon. Mine are also growing in horrible, slimy, furry green colonies. And all this from just one cough. Now for the cutouts that were only 10 centimetres away. Oh, this is even worse. There's loads of furry stuff in here. Oh, that is disgusting. Let's have a look at mine. Oh, there's a huge bacterial splat in the middle of the plate. I must have coughed off a lot of saliva with that one. So this is like coughing into someone's face when they're right next to you. And that's bad news for them when you realise that the average cough has 20,000 viruses in it. Which brings me to our last result. Let's have a look at the plate where I covered my mouth and coughed at Chris. Oh! Two bacteria! I knew you hadn't covered your mouth properly. I think you can see, though, that this is a lot better than the other ones we did. So, there you have it. In case you were in any doubt about whether or not to cover your mouth when you cough, we've shown that not only could your cough reach the person right next to you, but it could travel a lot further than that. Yuck. And as well as seeing how far they travel, we've shown you just how much bacteria there can be in coughs. Well, there's a lot more in yours than in mine, Chris. You should see a doctor. Maybe I should. Better go find one. <laughs>